Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's nodes are the Auto Gain node and the Brightness Contrast node. Let's go ahead and bring in an Auto Gain node. Type in AG, Auto Gain. Now what this node does is it automatically adjusts your uh, tonal range of your image. And uh, it's pretty simple. Just bring it up down and you've got high low ranges and that is pretty much it the only other additional input is your mask input and it's just like any other mask input if you input your mask and make a change you're gonna see it only in your mask unless you go to your settings and apply it inverted so that is the auto gain node. There's really nothing exciting and special about it, but uh, it is a good node just for uh, doing some simple auto gain and uh, auto dips. Now our other node, the brightness contrast node is a little uh, more in depth. Brightness contrast. Let's go ahead and shut this node off. We'll bring up this node. Now the way this node works is just like any other uh, brightness contrast input and it works from top to bottom. So anything done up here is gonna affect everything below. So it's pretty simple. Your gain, you've got your lift, you've got your gamma, your contrast, your brightness and your saturation and uh, right down here you've got your lows and highs to bring up your uh, middles and then you've got your clip black and clip white as well as your uh, pre-divide and post multiply now one thing I didn't mention I believe in other nodes that have this clip black and clip white just so you know it, it doesn't uh, it only works when you're using 32-bit uh, float images so if you're bringing in you're bringing in 8-bit or 16-bit channel data this clip black and clip white is not going to work and in case you don't know what that means is anything below zero is going to automatically clip anything above one is automatically going to clip out so if it's extra blown out but like i said it only works for float 32 information and even though we're working in float 32 within davinci resolve that just means we're going to output that doesn't mean it's making your media coming in actual float 32 it's whatever bit depth you recorded it at what it actually is and uh these clips will not work for anything that is below float 32 and the same thing with uh our mass node over here on our brightness contrast you can affect anything you want apply it inverted make your changes and that is your brightness and contrast node so auto gain brightness contrast two nodes used for affecting the color of your footage and i will see you in the next module